Dungannon United Youth in yellow and blue travel to Crusaders in white in the Subway Under-15 National League. Seaview's 4G surface was baked in glorious sunshine, cool and crisp. It was perfect in terms of conditions for an October game. Dungannon were in front inside a minute. Michael McElhatton's wonderful through ball found the pacey Ethan Nethery. He swung over a cross into the box and Corey Smith reacted quickest to send the ball past Ollie Kerr into the corner. Not the ideal start for the crews then, but they weren't deterred. Bryce Gray took the ball into Dungannon's territory, but his cross was easily taken by Ross Watson. Crews keeper Kerr needed to be on his guard on five minutes. Smith started the move for the visitors. Nethery flicked on to Oscar Thompson, but there was no way past Kerr. Twelve minutes later, Jay Patterson's run cut open Dungannon's defence. He made his way into United box, but couldn't find that killer pass. Oscar Thompson was then presented with a shooting opportunity with the crews caught in possession. Teed up by Nethery, his shot was tame and Kerr made the save. Crusaders made a couple of half-time changes and after the restart they remained intent on levelling the game. Jake Seaton had a half chance but his shot lacked power. Some good interplay between Seaton and Gray then gave Joel Thompson the opportunity to cross. Watson though did well for Dungannon under pressure from Young. Having been in front but outplayed for a good bit of the first half, Dungannon started pressing for a second goal. Smith's cross on this occasion was too close to Kerr. At the other end, Seaton was sizing up his chances. On 53 minutes, he got a sight of the Dungannon goal, but again, there was no way past Ross Watson. United second almost arrived three minutes later. McElhatton broke up Crusaders' possession. Thompson and Nethery combined and the ball ran to Smith, who had his effort saved. Kerr was brave in denying Thompson with the follow-up. Just seconds later, Dungannon increased their lead. McElhatton won the header. And Thompson provided the assist for Nethery, who made it 2-0 to the visitors. United were now in free flow, and McElhatton saw this effort cleared inside the six-yard box by Kenzie Young. Dungannon went on to put a gloss on a quality away performance with a minute to go. A fine free-flowing move down the left resulted in David Monaghan crossing. Smith had his shot saved, but this time Matthew Quinn was on hand to slot in the rebound. Well, that was tough on Crusaders, who had been excellent in possession, particularly in the opening half. For Dungannon, it's six league wins now from six games. Crusaders nil, Dungannon United Youth three. Very pleased, uh, good start this season. Again, the boys worked very hard today. Uh, Corey Smith got up to a good start. I think he scored in the first minute. The first half, I'd say Crusaders were probably on top. We battled hard, but they probably had more possession. Again. Took the boys in at half time, a good talk with them. Um, we probably told the lads to set off Crusaders a wee bit and let them have the ball. And again, uh, we're a good. I think Ethan got the second goal, probably about eight or ten minutes to go. Um, a good finish of him, the ball played out to the right. Took a good touch and he's, he's put it to the far stick. Um, the third goal, again, with a good break down the left hand side, or left back, overlapping, put a lovely ball in. Gays took a shot, the keepers had a good save, and Corey had the shot, the keeper a good save, and it came back out then to Matty Quinn, and Matty he finished it, for, again we're a minute to go, so very pleased with the performance today. Apart from that there, I thought we had a good run of the game, played really good football, um, and in the last 10 minutes again, another two goals, just sort of 
maybe we're pressing for the equaliser. I don't know. It's but uh, Dungan is a good side. I mean, if you give them a chance, they're gonna they're gonna do that to you, like so. But uh, our boys are they're, they're deflated in there. They know over a load of games they played really well and they're playing the best they can in the right way. Um, results aren't going for us, but we well, can only ask so much of them. You know what I mean? So.